He also beats, um, wait a second, did, it, did Blub? Hey, Casey, can I see the, this here? Because it was, can you scroll up to winners? This is winners, right? Semi, so Showtime, oh, so the Doctor versus Mojo was the other half of it. Got it, got it. Uh, wait, I thought, wait, Crouch used to play Zelda? Uh, but, but, uh, Crux plays Zero Suit. Bookkeeper plays. Maki Valley is the Crux and X Zelda play. Oh, yes, yeah. Crux used to yeah, play yeah, Zelda. Yeah, okay. Like, way back in the day. But he actually he picked upgraded. up Zero Suit. Yeah, he picked up Zero Suit, like, uh, like, probably around, like, four ish months ago. I bet that makes you happy. Oh, yeah, it does, dude. <laughs> dude, dude, Zero Suit's really cool. Uh, Zero Suit's super cool. Dude, four nares in a row, and, like, each one makes that crispy oh, little sound. Yeah. Dude, it scared Bookkeeper. Right. So, uh, I feel like this matchup. Ooh. Besides that kind of stuff, it, uh, it just kind of seems like pretty rough for Zelda. You know, seriously has the speed to get in on her, mm -hmm. and then also has the the range on her like back air and some of her moves. Exactly, and the thing is that Zelda. Yeah, exactly. So 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 pretty much, Book Keeper's gonna be playing defense, and Crux is gonna be playing like base invader or whatever, right? Right, right, right. Um, but the thing is that like something that Ooh. a lot of Zeldas are really good at is they're good at. Oh my God, he's gonna yeah, take. Please. Yeah. <laughs> And, and that's the thing about Zero Suit, first off, is that uh, her bread and butter combos extend to so, like, such varied combo They're weights. hard to get out of. Yeah, for, like, pretty much the lo the knockback growth on that on that Nair is so low. It works on hyper floaties. It has so much range. Yeah, that was good SDI. Yeah, it was really good. But, but going back to the way neutral operates is that, like, Zeldas really love to catch people's landings, you know? Right. They like to bait fireballs, and it's like, oh, no, there's a fireball here, so I either have to throw a move or I have to jump over it. Ooh. Both of which like limit your landing. But Zero Suit has extra flexibility with that down beat. Yeah. So it's a little harder for Zelda. Um, oh! Okay, you can get it that way. I saw a set earlier today, Bookkeeper versus Mint. Mint is a San Diego. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice! A San Diego Zero Suit, and then uh, Bookkeeper actually had to switch to Sheik in order to, to, to make it manageable for himself. Because okay. he does have that option. Bookkeeper does have a Sheik. Right. Okay. He, he, I think it looked like he was trying to do it earlier. I thought it was a mistake. Maybe he'll try and pull it out. Depends. Uh, on uh, how you want to play the matchup, you know. What do you think about uh, Sheik's Zero Suit? I think Sheik has a lot has a better time because she can crouch cancel and, to, and combo Zero Suit Edge Guarder pretty well. Right, right. Definitely is has more options than Zelda does. Zelda kind of is forced to play a certain pace, right? Definitely. She has to play defensively. She you can oh. play defensively, or you could like camp, or you could like just jump in and be really oh. pressure. I like the move, man. He's yeah. like, my character's really slow, so I'm just gonna up B all the way to you. Pretty much, Zelda. Is really good, especially when you cancel it, like platform cancel those things. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Ooh, oh, sour, sour, another oh. sour spot. Oh, we got those fairs are just too. Dude, salty. He almost got the sour patch combo. Yeah, but he, he got like the super. He got the warheads combo. Uh, that just sour the entire time. Back kill. Uh, but he fumbled too much. Oh, that's, nice. That's definitely gonna be it. He yeah, can't make that bad. Actually, he might have if he had chosen to recover in a different order, but bookkeeper was able to kind of take it. You think you're gonna make it back? Uh, Zero Suit has a couple extra tricks to get her more distance. So. You could do a, like a jump up B like right away and you get more exactly, height, Exactly, right? exactly. He also could have timed the, his jump differently. And there are a couple other things. It still might have been killed him, but... Right, right. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Bookkeeper is bringing this back. And as you know, Bookkeeper is, uh, I believe, third seed at this Arcadian, and Crux is like 20-something. Yeah, because Bookkeeper got second in the last one. Yeah. So, so if Crux wins, it is an upset, and if Bookkeeper wins, then he moves on to uh, oh, Winner's Finals, where a lot of people guy. would put him. Yeah. Bookkeeper oh. winners finals without Loyal is going to be pretty interesting, though, honestly. Yeah. Oh my god. Crux is actually giving Bookkeeper a run for his money, though. It's not. For someone who with such large seed discrepancies, you know, you would think that this match wouldn't down me. Ooh, no, he has no jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, fair. I don't think it's going to work. So Bookkeeper brought it back. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's pretty even. Yeah. You know what? What Crux should really start doing is baiting that seed. Oh, like, yeah, just like I that. Get. Just like that. So instead of crawling, you could jump over. Oh no! He got okay. it. He has it. He has it. Good. A lot of range on that up B. So. Yeah. Especially at low percentages, you can you can afford to lose your double jump and still make it back to stage. Okay. Right. Oh, oh. nice catches him. Down nice. throw. Down throw. Nair is gonna work for a long time. Yeah. But the platform. I think. Up. I think bookkeeper's not uh, not di the down throws away hard. Though. Yeah. Yeah. You have to down. You have to di a down throw. And or you have to DI down throw down and down away, and, away right? and then after that you have to smash DI the Nair because the Nair is going to connect. Yeah. Like that's just the, the, how the character's built. The Nair will connect on a Zelda. You just have to make sure that the second Nair doesn't connect. He has it. Good. Okay. But he put himself in a cornered situation against a Zelda wall of feet. Yeah. That's really not, not, not a fun Ooh. situation. Yeah. He, he trades, but barely able to live. 
Okay. Honestly, that was better for Bookkeeper. Give him stage control. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh my god. That was... Oh, is that okay, it? That's wow. It. Yeah, yeah. Flux squeaks one in. Yep. This is... I think this is also quarters. This is semis. Is it? Yes. Are you sure? I am positive, my friends. They, uh, they have both had very long journeys to make it to this point. FT. FD! I can see it because it kind of it takes away Zero Suit's ability to jump away from pressure. Um, it would be interesting to see. Yeah, see, like that'll work, but like if you don't if you don't place the blaster close enough, you're just gonna crawl under it, nothing's gonna happen. Right? I mean it's cute, but like you have to have purpose when you do those kind of cute cute yeah. little things. See that's that's gonna work, but you see that bookkeeper's DI and goes in, so he's taking more damage. Whereas if he smashed DI those oh. nares out, maybe he would Upbeat? Okay. I really like, like, Crux's punish game is very, Ooh, like, like, I feel like his punish game is kind of, like, guaranteed, and then when he's uncomfortable, he backs off. So he's never in a bad position after the combo finishes. Yeah. You know what I mean? There are so many players who, like, they go for that finisher, and then they miss it, and then it's like, they give up all the stage position. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was my nice. God. I like those end stars. That's dope. Dude, that down B is, like, it's, it's so strong. Yeah. It like cuts off an angle. Yeah. So if you're you are caught at the wrong spot, like he's just she's just gonna like sweep down all the way across the stage. Yeah, definitely. Uh, one, of the things, oh. one of the things, uh, I'm not sure if it actually works, but I know on a lot of Zeppy fastball is all that can up throw up air at like 80% at a guaranteed kill. Um, Zero suit might Zero fall suit, into that range. I'm Zero suit's kind of like cheap waves. Yeah. Uh, so it, it might it might work, maybe a little bit lower percent. But that could be like a big, big thing if it was yeah, able to. Especially with no to platforms kill. to like kind of force the tech. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we See, okay. So that was good. That That's was good. Yeah. And bookkeepers figured it out. So now Crux is gonna have to kind of bait those jumps now. Ah, he baited that one. Okay. Good. Bookkeeper is kind of trying to push Crux away. Because, like, you know, if you're playing defensive, it's always good to have stage positioning. Because stage yeah. positioning will kind of help with your defense. It'll force them to making really... Uh -huh. Oh, wow, that was really Yeah, he read the roll. Yeah, that was good. And uh, one of the things I like that Bookkeeper's not doing, uh, he's not, like, doing uh, land cancel Nehru's as much. Yeah, uh, that's really, like, it's a, it's a good option, but it's definitely not safe. A lot of people think it is. Did you see that adaptation by Crux, by the way? I did not see it. He down threw and literally did nothing afterwards because yeah. he knows that that Bookkeeper is going to DI them right. correctly now. So I want to see how this game changes once Bookkeeper... His, the punish game is going to be a lot smaller on him off the throws than it was game one. And let's see what Crux can do to, to adapt to that. Good. See right there? He baits the, the Nerus and then uh, tries to back her over. It was a land cancel one, so it had less lag, so that was good. Yep. Oh! Okay. I like that. Nice. Order? Oh, goes for the Nair. That that double jump fair is gonna be really big at combo break. That Ooh. was sick. Dude, I love Din's fire confirms. Yeah, they always look so strange. We have Mojo versus Doctor up next, and the Blow over Pop is uh, on a secondary setup. Yeah, we have here. Here we go. That back air. Yeah, yeah no, can't do forward that. too because he knew he'd get nothing off down throw. Okay, you have to keep in mind. Crux has to remember that he only has one tether left. Okay, good. Well, now he's got two. Yeah. Bookkeeper is looking to take this game very commandingly. Crux really hasn't found oh, a way to... to oh, nice. That, nice. Uh, Crux has to find a way to amplify his punish game. Yeah. He's losing it's, control it's a lot. It's hard on like, super floaties like Zelda. Especially kinda. without platforms to kind of help you. Yeah, definitely. Because even if you don't get the platform tech chases, they help because you're able to jump, wave land on the platform, jump. And that gives you a lot more height. That's good. Dash Dance is away in order to like get out of the forward air range, but not that one. That's not going to kill, but he's that definitely in a terrible gonna be a situation. situation. Yeah. The bookkeeper's got all the stage. Uh, that, that should take it. Yeah. 1-1. One, yeah. one. Very strong counter pick. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Dude, we got we a just, Did we just power this Wii on for we 10 just, hours? We just got a masterpiece. We did it. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, so I'm maybe thinking... ban the smaller ones. If yeah. I was ZSS, I'd be all like... Yeah, I'd be like small stages. I would take a Green Hill. The thing, though, is that Zelda's forward is also very strong. So it's like both of them benefit on a stage like that. Okay. Battlefield is kind of like, oh, okay, I like the platforms more. It gives me more room Ooh, to move around, maybe. 
Okay. Yeah, Zeus does get a lot, like, off the battlefield platforms. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, catches the down B, but doesn't catch the double jump. Oh. oh, and that's what I'm talking about when you overextend your punish. Yeah. Wow. Wow, he doesn't even get anything off at zero at this point. So, so stuff like that, right? Um, this is me thinking as, a, as my own player now. It's like, okay, I know that Bookkeeper has been going for that double jump fair every time. Yeah. What happens if I just See, run under and don't go for the nair, but just continue to run and then make him whiff the forward air uh, and then do a punish after that, See, right? He did an up throw on Zero Suit. It looks like he probably had enough time. To Ooh, I, like I like that. Yeah, those That's are nice. fun. Those are fun. It looks like he had enough time to double jump up air and uh, probably get that for the kill. Yeah, and, and at this point, Ooh, Ooh, saved it by A accident. fickle friend. And, uh... Wouldn't it be funny if we got Zelda Winners Finals and then VG made it all the way through losing? You know, VG's out of the tournament. Is he out? Okay. Yeah, but we have we do have Doctor on the other side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Zelda Winners Finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's not in, he's not Winners Finals yet, but he's but he might, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. And even though it looks like it's even, keep in mind that Crux has only done about 50 damage this game. Right. Dude, uh, I feel like every tournament has like a theme of like which character is just gonna be played by everyone. Dude, we're all about fads. It looks like, looks like Showtime just took out Juan wow. All right, in a last dog last yeah. last hit situation off stage. Off and stage. Crux is dying at eighty percent to poorly DI backers. Yeah, it's tough because like you kind of want to DI away, drift away to not get hit by it. Yeah. You know, but then it's like the sweet spot's at the tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. That might be it, but not quite. Border. Okay. Up air. Yeah, but like what I was saying is like every tournament has like a specific character that like everyone's using. <laughs> so like yesterday's balcony, we had Venom the Hedgehog, and then we had Aeon Xeno Kids. Like yep. everyone's playing Sonic. And then uh, like a couple weeks ago, we had like all the Meta Knights. Exactly. So, and then so the Zeldas are coming out today. Yeah, Zeldas are coming out today, dude. And it's great that we have like, we have so many characters in this game yeah, that, you're really that you're really able to, like each one of those days felt really different. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice to see character diversity all the time. Yeah. Oh my God! Look wow, at that dash that's dance space. Spacey. Look at that. That was like that such. Was that was the insane. rudest snare by Crux. And then like Bookkeeper's like, whatever, dude. I'm just gonna stick the foot here, and he's gonna die. That was really solid. Nice. Using the platform yeah. to get around Zelda and position that back air perfectly. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's not safe. See right he, there. He's done that every time. Yeah, can, can Crux figure out something else to do because that's not working anymore. That hasn't worked since game one. Yeah. And that's oh, gonna be a yeah. quick. Well, not quick, but a little more. One more edge guard away. Yeah. Ooh. Crux All right. is running in. He's yeah. running into those forward airs. I'd like to see a lot more run up shield for him. Run up shield. See definitely. what happens. You know. Uh, he could honestly like probably run up crouch, and I think that might duck onto the four days. Yeah, uh, run up crouch and then like jump up air, you know, yeah. to punish it. And the thing is, like this level of adaptation is something that like will separate like kind of like t higher level play from lower level play. I yeah. noticed like bookkeeper kind of was able to figure out the Ooh, di. So he did it again. He, he missed the four day, but like crouch needs to figure out uh, an option. Know. Yeah, maybe not go for throws. You know, sometimes when you when you don't get good punishes off throws, the solution is not to figure out what your optimal throw punish is and have it be a small punish. It's to just not throw anymore. Or you can just throw them off stage. Yeah, exactly. Go for the positioning. Throw. Yeah, get, get get stage control. Because yeah, if you if you overextend on the pun it on the, the the grab and then you just get punished, you lose stage control. Sometimes it's better to. Oh, nice! I love the back hit. Oh, up, he up missed it. Back air? Oh, almost. Yeah. Back air comes up frame 8, so it's like, I saw it was like two frames away. Look at that. Like, those nares by, by Crux are going to be the end of him, dude, I swear. Yeah. He like, uh, he like, barrels in with that stuff. After the down throw, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that was smart. So he got, she got, she got safe. Like, at this point, might as well just up throw. You know what I mean? Might as well just up throw and force her. Like, Zelda can't really Zelda get Zelda can't recover. Well, right? Can't land. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, maybe try that angle out instead. Which is crazy because like Crux is actually getting a bunch of grabs. He's getting so many grabs this set. But Bookkeeper is kind of able to keep the punish game small and just like really make Crux play a really awkward neutral. Yeah. Uh, SSBM Yoshi. Sheik is pretty solid in this game. Pretty solid character. I don't know if we're supposed to be reading chat right now. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I, I pretty much just ignore the chat because I assume that the other chat people can like answer questions. You just assume that people are smart enough. Trolling and messing up and stuff. 
dude. <laughs> Probably. Uh, someone, smash. someone oh. said Shrieker's overrated, so I was triggered, so I had to, I had to respond. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is a really slow paced game, by the way. Uh, yeah, it kinda happens with Zelda. Most of the time. The, the first two were kinda like way faster than this one. Oh! Oh, double dash. Look at that! that. Oh, oh, he's got nothing! Crux has no recovery oh, options. No. And I think that bookkeeper might have figured it out. Crux kind of hasn't done the adaptations he's needed in order to stay competitive in this in this set. The oh no, this is not. And look, oh, oh, that's his second tether. Okay, he's back. Right. Yeah, he's not gonna get anything off this. Like oh. that. Like uh, back here. Oh, but down that tilt. was down tilt. For a second, I thought that was like a sheet down smash, and I was like really confused. <laughs> yeah. He's got to get that up air. Crux is like fiending for it right now. Uh. And the thing is, Delta can wave land oh. after that after that short hop fair. Right. So it's like you can't oh, actually punish it was... as hard as well as you think you could. Yeah. Crux is falling farther and farther behind. Bookkeeper is making this look real tough for the guy. <laughs> Down to? <laughs> All right, up air. That's what he wanted. Yeah. But even still, like Zelda, you can't you can't let Zelda live that long every stock. Yeah. Especially, especially when, when she's gonna doing... kill you like yeah, that. Yeah. Exactly. Caught the jump. Who's in winners? Uh, the other side is yeah. is Doctor. Is Doctor versus Mojo. Yes. And then these two. Again, just like you know, like what's that quote from Einstein? It's like insanity is like trying to do the same thing over and over again and hoping you get different results. Yeah. I think that, that that's that's describing what this set has become. Yeah, but Bookkeeper is just. In complete control. Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's not really, he's, he isn't building a perfect wall, you know what I mean? But his wall is good enough, and when Crux gets through the wall, all he does is grab. Yeah. So it doesn't even matter, right? Right. So it's like the way that Crux is choosing to play this game, he's choosing to go into Bookkeeper's like range, and he's choosing to punish, like use that opportunity to get a grab instead of like, let's say a down tilt or an up tilt yeah. or something. Oh. Oh, nice, nice air dodge. But Crux is on the ropes. Getting nickel and the tethers. <laughs> yeah. that, that, uh, that actually might be it. Crux is like, like, you know that's, what I mean? Like, that's, that, I think that might, uh, no, he can. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's yeah. it. He's out of it. Yeah. Bookkeeper gets the 3-0 after <laughs> losing the first one. one. Yeah. Right.